Here we go, music. Hang on. We're missing someone. Zane. He's not there. Before, Zane Malik was one of five heartthrob teens in the boy band One Direction. I hate dancing and I've never done it before and I just feel like an idiot. Before, Zayn became the band's bad boy and was accused by Matt Lauer all over media for drug use and cheating scandals surfaced about his former fiance, Perry Edwards. Zayn, you're ruining this for yourself. I'm trying to help you here. So if you can't do it now, you're never gonna be able to do it. Before, Zayn Malik cited Strauss for the reason that he missed a tour, which was the beginning of the end of his time with One Direction. And before, Zayn came back with a killer solo album and started dating the famous Gigi Hadid. Nobody but you, body but me, body but us, bodies together. Growing up, young Zayn felt like he'd never really fit in at school. It wasn't until he started attending high school that he really came out of his shock. It was at the age of 12 that he first took the stage in a school production, and from there, he knew singing and performing was something that he was turbo passionate about. This led a then 17-year-old Zane to try his luck at auditioning on X Factor. And although he didn't make the cut as a solo act, Simon Cowell saw the opportunity to have him join a number of other prepubescent lads, and from there, One Direction was born. From there, his life changed overnight, but again, Zane had feelings that he didn't quite fit in. My name's Amber Smith, filling in for Michael McCrudden, documenting the life of Zayn Malik prior to fame, here for you on Before They Were Famous. Now, as always, let us know in the comment section down below, who would you like us to feature next? Zane Javad Malik was born on January 12, 1993 in Bradford, West Yorkshire, England. His father, Yazir Malik, is British Pakistani, and his mother, Trisha Brennan Malik, is English and part Irish. She actually converted to Islam upon marriage. Zayn has one older sister, Donia, and two younger sisters, Walia and Safa. He was raised in a working class family and grew up in a working class neighborhood called East Bowling, located south of the Bradford city center. He attended Lower Fields Primary School and Tong High School in Bradford. Zane's mother, Trisha, has spoken to religion in interviews regarding her son's religious upbringing, stating that she made sure the children went to mosque and that Zane has actually read the Quran three times. When Zane was growing up, Trisha worked as a halal chef at a primary school cooking meals for Muslim children. Zane has said that he did not fit in at his first two primary schools due to his mixed heritage of Pakistani and English. Zane has also said that he started taking pride in his appearance after moving schools at the age of 12. And as a teenager, he actually took performing arts courses and appeared in school productions. He grew up listening to his father's urban music records, primarily R&B, hip hop, and reggae, as well as Bollywood music. He started writing raps when he was at school and sang on stage for the first time when singer Jay Sean visited his school. In 2010, 17-year-old Malik auditioned in Manchester for the seventh series of the reality television competition, The X Factor. He sang Let Me Love You by R&B vocalist Mario as his audition song and was accepted into the next round. You're the type of woman to say good things Fish full of time and hand full of rings Baby, you're a star Now while on the show, he began showing early signs that this was a guy who was going to do things his way and not everything about performing did he enjoy. I just feel like an idiot on the stage shot down to sweep other people that are clearly better than me and I just feel like an idiot, I'm not doing it. He was actually eliminated before the final round of the competition, but judges Nicole Scherzinger and Simon Cowell grouped him with fellow competitors Harry Styles, Niall Horan, Liam Payne, and Louis Tomlinson to form the new act for the remainder of the show. <laughs> this new act was One Direction. The group became one of the most popular finalists in their season of The X Factor. They finished the competition in third place, and they were immediately signed to Cowell's Psycho Music label. Zayn started dating a singer with the group Little Mix in 2011. Zayn and Perry Edwards met as they both starred on The X Factor in different years, and pretty much every stage of their relationship was documented for the world ever since. In August 2003, Malik got engaged to Perry Edwards. With One Direction, Zayn was considered the bad boy of the group due to his mischievous behavior, his tattoos, and his crazy dyed hairstyles. 
Now Zayn and band member Louis Tomlinson were videotaped smoking what appeared to be marijuana while visiting Peru. Uh, However, marijuana is legal in Peru as long as it's for personal use and the person is carrying less than 8 grams on their person. But this sparked a lot of controversy when Matt Lauer asked Zane about being a bad influence and the curiosity of whether or not he had a drug problem was sparked in the media. There have been rumors of substance abuse, what's going on? No, he's just got a stomach bug, he's okay. He's just, he's just at home, he just needs to, to rest. In March 2015, Malik surprised fans by dropping out of the group's world tour. The spokesperson for the band tweeted that Zayn had been signed off with stress and is flying back to the UK to recuperate. Now at the end of March, on the 25th however, Malik actually announced that he was leaving One Direction for good. In a statement on Facebook, he wrote, after five years, I feel like it is now the right time for me to leave the band. I'd like to apologize to the fans if I've let anyone down, but I have to do what feels right in my heart. It was during this time that Zayn broke off his engagement with longtime fiance Perry Edwards. The band has decided to since continue without Zayn Malik. After taking a brief hiatus and moving to LA, Zayn started dating supermodel Gigi Hadid, and he is killing it with the latest single, Pillow Talk, off his new album. But you guys know all of this because this was before they were famous. All right, guys, that's all I have for you for today. Thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe to Before They Were Famous channel so we can bring you more awesome biographies on the people you want to see. And as always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram.